we're um, playing not just regular commander. This is commander using the 1v1 Magic the Gathering online rules. So there are no soul rings, no mana crypts, no lion's eye diamonds, no mox diamonds, no Telerian Academy as well. You can't have that in regular commander. But a lot of the broken stuff is gone, and we're also at only 30 life. Are the commander life totals the same? So 21 damage of commander? I do believe so, yeah. Okay. Although I haven't like specifically verified. Um, low roll. I'm voting for low roll. He votes for the low roll. Let's get on. Oh, shit. 679. You only roll high. One and my... I only ever roll low, so it's my only chance to win. All right. Well, that's a good strategy, I suppose. <laughs> Seven cards. Here we go. I'm playing oh with... Oh, my God. This is brutal. Ovia Pashiri. Mono green, 33 lands, low to the ground. Literally, I don't think anything is flying in this deck. Wow, this is just as bad. Yeah, this is a pretty uh, tough hand for m me personally. I have to ship it. I get a free seven. I have to go down to six if I don't take this. Or is that how they do it? Down the first, six? the first seven is is free. The second seven. I'm sorry. The first first draw. Then you get the second seven for free, and then after that, it's six, five, four, three, two. Well, we shuffled these to oblivion, so let's just pass. We were shuffling during the whole five since, minutes. Since we both threw away, you want to start over? Uh, Well, let's just draw our seven and see what's... Well, I'm already down going. to six if I draw. Wait, why are you down to six? Because I already draw, drew 14. In 14 uh, cards, I had three lands. Well, no. Can you stop drawing my cards, though? Oh, and, and the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I cut it, but it doesn't matter. It should be random anyways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're going to have to keep it and hope six. it works. Oh my god, this is atrocious. I sure. could just get mana screwed. You don't know. I'm Wait. starting off mana screwed. Okay. Um, I guess I will go for first. Fourth. Um... Reflecting pool. Pass turn. Draw. Land. This is a really great draw for me because my original first play was going to be Ovia, but now I get to cast Line War Mentor. He says, pay a green dis and tap, discard a card, put a 1 1 green elf druid token named Line War Elves into play. Do you guys have copies of Line War Elves? Not on hand. Not on hand? Okay. Well, perhaps I can draw something. Do you have a pen and paper? Or I'll just use. Yeah. You, yeah, just give me. You're, there's a giant box of tokens right there. Yes. Okay, I'll pass. Okay. Ooh, this is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Planes. He gets his second land drop, though. Pass. Real quick. Can I see that card? That actually looks kind of sick. Yeah, he's awesome. He, he, he just enables you to be very much more consistent. You can use star star tokens are great when you don't have um actually the best token ever is a construct token it is a colorless construct um with that is star star so it could be anything really draw okay let's do that thing i was gonna do i'll discard what will i discard venge mine make a line of war druid pass. This might be a short game pass. Untap. Discard. Edge of autumn. Go up to two of these things. I'm going to tap one of them to put a Shiri into play. Thank you. Okay, go ahead.
Yeah, so this Line of War Mentor basically says turn. every card in my hand it can be a Line of War Elves if you want. And often I do. Okay. You have three open mana. Tyler, welcome. Sorry, I didn't see that earlier. What's going on, Tyler? It is Ovia Pashiri versus General Tangerine, 1v1 competitive commander using the online rules. Here's what we're going to do. One, two, three. I'm going to cast Snake Umbra on Ovia Pashiri, so she gets plus one, plus one, and has... Whenever this creature deals combat damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. So I will attack you for two. Take two. One, two, and that's player one to player two. And then I will discard a card. That would be Sakura Tribe Elder. Make a elf. Say go. Pass turn. Tap and draw. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I will play Whisper Silk Cloak and try to equip it to Avia. Alright, no swords to plowshares. I attack for two. One, two. What's One. up, JD? How's it going? And I'm just going to use this dice here to represent. Um, the power here. I get a draw trigger. Okay. And then I'll pass to you. Discard, pass turn. So it looks like my opponent is in a bit of a bind. He may want to rematch after this. draw. I have five mana available to me. I'm going to cast Nature's Lore. Search my library for a forest. Put it into play directly. Untapped. Let's get this little ripple. Okay. Now I have four mana. I'm going to tap them. I'm going to cast Bear Umbra. Enchanting Ovia Pashiri. It gets plus two, plus two, and has whenever it attacks, I untap all lands I control. So now it's one, two, three, four. Attack you for four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I draw. And I'm going to untap all my lands. Then I'm going to cast Rancor. This is going to jump up again to six. discarding Defense of the Heart to put a Druid into play, and it's your turn. <sighs> Fast turn. My opponent's still in big trouble. Three, four, five. I'm gonna cast Garrick, Primal Hunter. I'm gonna immediately use his minus three ability. Let's draw cards equal to the greatest power of uncreatures I control. That's six. One, two, three. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to untap this. Four, five, six. I'm gonna cast and equip Bone Splitter. Attack. For how much? This is eight. It cannot be the target of spells or abilities. Oh, oh wait, a shroud. Oh wait, I've been cheating. I've been cheating big time, boys. Just take the bone splinters off. It's fine. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play selfless squire. Six. Flash. When it enters the battlefield, prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn. Whenever damage 
that would be dealt to you is prevented, put that many plus one plus one counter. So what is he? Um, six. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, yeah. let's untap. Three. Rocking out. Welcome, Jeff, a.k.a. Jeff. Welcome, buddy. Sup, Jeff? Okay, I'm going to play Imperial Plate. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Hmm. I think you got this, dude. Pass turn. I don't think I ever marked down damage. No. Oh wait, yeah, that thing happened. Yep. So let's untap. Rarzos. Lanzos. Okay. So, what do I do? Do I unequip, unequip Whisper Silk Cloak? I don't know. First, before I do any of that. Let's go one, two, three, four. Court of Calling. I'm gonna tutor a one CMC thing directly into the V battlefield. I have a creature in mind. If you can guess that little bugger from Judgment, you are correct. It is Sylvan's Safekeeper. He will let me unequip in my Whisper Silk Cloak without any fear of retaliation. I do just this. What does he do? He says, sacrifice the land to target creature you control cannot be the target of spells or abilities this turn. So let's pay two and equip Whisper Silk Cloak over to Sylvan Safekeeper. Then one, two, equip Imperial Plate over to Ovia Fishiri. And her power is going to jump by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now she's at 12. And I do believe she also has trample. And she comes. I block 7 of the 12. Okay. Creature is dead. You take 5. 1, 2, 3, four. Draw a card. And all my lands on tap. Let's equip Bone Splitter. Cast Umezawa's Jite and pass. Alright, I'm done. Okay, that's the game. Let's play another one. I will keep this deck ready. I was not going to be able to do anything for a very long time. I do like the green screen. I got Ovia hanging out, which means the back shrimps. She is a witch. That was brutal. Yeah. Why don't you defend yourself better? <laughs> Unfortunately, I did cheat a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. It was a little bit of cheating. I'll read the cards better next time, guys, I swear didn't matter i just could not get any Cause red cause if i had yet. red i could have wiped your board it doesn't even matter why don't you play a monocolor deck your strategy is inferior <laughs> <laughs> if i were to it'd be mono blue and jeff would never play it i'm just brewing the salt soup over here i like how you won and you're brewing the salt soup <laughs> i do that Masterclass. I've been playing too much StarCraft. I'm oh, like, have you? I'm, I'm super amped up. Are you on the remastered or the free version? Legacy of the Void. Oh. You know what's really cool, though, is... Um, I did not like StarCraft 2 in any way, shape, or form. I am still like a it? hardcore StarCraft 1 player. Right on. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to Legacy of the Void. When it, it like, I think Heart of the Swarm was closer to Brood War than um, Wings of the Liberty was, and I really, like, got super neck deep in Heart of the Swarm. Um, like, I would take uh, ADHD medication to stay awake to play that game because I was so obsessed. Um, 
but then they came out with Legacy of the Void and increased the starting worker count, and that removed a lot of the variability in the game. 